I'm telling you, that thing is staring at me. It's as if its eyes are following me wherever I go. It's offline. That is what I thought about Megatron's head when... <clears throat> Perhaps I should not have mentioned that. Forget it. We got bigger stuff to worry about, like rebuilding the space bridge so we can warn Cybertron that our head of intel is a Decepticon traitor. At least the top of a tower is a better place to build a space bridge than the bottom of a mine. Yeah. What was Megatron thinking, huh? Even a basic bot knows that heavy mineral deposits mess up wave transmissions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I'm just happy that I can finally sleep in my own bed again. Well, you're not going to get much sleep if we don't rebuild that plasma dynamic thruster. All right, don't rush me. You are worse than working for Megatron. I mean, not in the evil, ruthless, threatened by life sense, but... I know what you meant. Besides, I just spent the past sleepless night overriding the Decepticon signal dampeners I was forced to create. I just hope your friends are able to track them down now. Signal's moving due north, but we're closing in fast. It'll be nice to have the element of surprise for a change. Signal's slowing down. Now it's heading due south. He's heading right for us! So much for the element of surprise. These all spark fragments should give the power core a boost. Be careful, Bulkhead. We don't want to overload it. Relax. When it comes to space bridges, I know what I'm doing. That's so hot, it's structural integrity. Yeah! Hang on, Prof! <laughs> Sorry. I guess there are some drawbacks to being a tower. That bed I mentioned? I think I need to go and lie down on it now. I'm gonna need some structural experts to help clean this up. And I know just how to find them. Oh yeah, nice chassis. Yeah, shake those pistons, baby. Hey, Mix, check out the rare companion on that one. And they said we weren't supervisor material, huh? Clean me another keg of grease there, will you, Scrap? Mix Master and Scrapper! Figures I'd find you two rust buckets in a dump like this. How'd you find us? Uh, your energy signatures. You ain't taking us down without a fight, you got that? <laughs> Wait! It's, it's not like that. I just want to offer you a job. A big job! A job? Uh, we don't work for no cranking Autobots no more. We're Decepticons now. Yeah. Didn't you see the stamp on the grill? So how come I don't see your buddies anywhere? They didn't run out on you, did they? They'll be back. Oh, sure they will. So you're just gonna sit here and rust while you wait for them. Good plan. Hey, 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 what are you getting at, bulky? I've got a job for you. It's good, honest work. Who's gonna know? I guess there ain't no rule against moonlighting. But remember, this is strictly off the books. Because <laughs> if Megatron ever found out, he would blow a head gasket. Right. Cause me and Megatron, we talk all the time! You weren't kidding. That's a big job. Should've had triple reinforced steel. This is gonna run you some serious overtime, Bulky. Take all the time you need, guys. You know, it's not too late to paint some new logos on your chest. Yeah, I guess. I mean, Megatron had good oil and all, but his management skills stink. 
Yo, Scrap! What was that? I don't know, Mix. But it's putting up a fight! Hey, he's up on the clutch! Then pop it! What the slag is that? If I had to guess, a forklift, a headmaster unit, an all-spark fragment, and a whole lot of trouble. What are you cogs looking at? You want a piece of me? Try it and you'll be going to scrap you on the crank of box! Whoa! Someone's got a big chip on his engine block. You ever try working for a living, Tiny? Taking orders from the man? Move this, move that. Well, forget about it. I'm in charge now. <laughs> Who stalled and made him boss? That's dirt boss to you. You got a problem with that? What? No. Ow! Stop! You got a problem? You got a problem? Ah! Oh! You got a problem? Okay, to Prime, I think we've got a problem. It can't possibly be as big as the one we've got here. Time to mention the whole trans warping randomly around the galaxy deal, would it? You and Ratchet just keep him low to the ground and distracted while Prowl and I try to get the stasis cuffs on him. Talk now! Talk is cheap! How about some action? <laughs> Even your battle grade stingers are no match for my gear! <laughs> Your stasis cuffs are useless unless they are linked. <sighs> nice teamwork, Autobots. So, uh, how do we get him out of there? Okay, Bulkhead, I think. You got a what problem? would Prime do? You got a problem? Okay, you're the boss, Dirt Boss. That's better. Anyone else got a cranking problem? No, no, sir, no cranking, nothing. How about you? Bulkhead? What is all this commotion? What are they doing here? Get them out of here at once! Yo! Where's this pipsqueak get off ordering us around? I got hair for mine to. Do we? I, I mean, he doesn't order us around. I, I order him around. Now get cracking on that plasma dynamic thruster before I give you a face full of wrecking ball. Bulkhead, is this some kind of... I said move it, human. I want it done yesterday. Yes, sir. I take back what I said before. You are worse than working for Megatron. Whew. Oh, at least he's safe now. Oh, I, I, I mean, oh, yes, I showed him. See? Now that's what I'm talking about. Bots like us, we help build this city. And now we're gonna take a piece of it back. With interest. Yeah! Uh, but how? Think about it. The city runs on energy. Electric, solar, natural gas, and oil. Did he say oil? Yeah, and who's gonna protect all that oil? We are. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, protect. That's more like it. I knew you guys could do the right thing.
What the? you made heads I gotta get this load of Sheboygan I got this Sheboygan right here got a description of the perps. Thirty foot tall, robotic, rude. Friends of yours? Sort of. But they're good bots, Captain. Just misprogrammed. Well, if you see your good bots, you tell them I don't take kindly to machines acting up in my town. Don't worry. I'll tell them. If I ever catch them. Defeated me on the box. Not as long as my voice synthesizer can still to the name of Megatron. Where's Bulkhead when you need him? Uh, forget the big guy. Where's a mouth clamp when you need one? Scrapper, that's who. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yo, what's the matter with you? We didn't steal this oil just so you cogs can guzzle the profits! Hey. Oh. Uh. Thank goodness I found you. You said you wanted it yesterday, and then you wanted the lab, but I didn't want you to get angrier, so I figured, please don't hurt me. I am a father. Take it easy, Professor. I was just playing along before, so those guys wouldn't hurt you. Who are you talking to, big guy? I don't want to hear your lame excuses, human. Now fix it right this time and make it snappy. Uh, yes, sir. Humans? Huh. What can you do? What can you do? I'll tell you what we can do. We can squeeze them for every last drop of oil they got. We can. The fossil fuel refinery has the biggest oil supply in the city. But if we take them offline, we'll have the biggest supply. The city will have no choice but to come to us for oil. No one can stop us. <laughs> no one except me. Oh, and how are you gonna stop us, huh, Bulky? <laughs> Didn't think this through, did you, tough bot? Let's go, boys! Uh, no! Guys, don't listen to him! Stop! Like bulkheads in trouble. 
Let's get a fix on his signal and move. What about the Decepticon? Our friend is more important. Besides, he's not going anywhere. Transform and roll out. Not for long. Man, what a waste of good oil! Yo! That oil ain't for drinking! It's for torture and refinery! And our friend Bulkhead here is gonna do the torching for us! Ain't that right, Bulkhead? Him? What about me? I, I mean, we kinda attached, you know. Can't build a house without busting a few bricks. It's just business mix, nothing personal. Yo, Scrap, get back here! Come on! <laughs> Professor Sundak? Optimus Prime, thank goodness I found you. It's those horrible constructor cons. They're going to blow up the fossil fuel refinery. And Bulkhead's with them? Yes, but don't worry. He's just pretending to be with them to protect me. <laughs> Pretty convincing act. Sorry, guys. Can't help it. Someone's making me do this. You got that right, Mook. I'm the boss around here. Dirt boss. Now clamp that jaw and dent their fender so we can finish this job. <laughs> Slagged that annoying little pipsqueak already? Who are you calling pipsqueak? Short stuff? Bumblebee, watch the sparks. There's oil everywhere. Okay, it's me, Prime. I don't want to hurt you. I, I know. Neither do I. Thanks, Darkbot. They say the squeaky servo gets the grease. Hey, let go! Let go? You mooks ain't going nowhere. Time for little manual control. I still don't have time for this. That tank's gonna blow! We can't contain the fire! Then perhaps we can transport it. The plasma dynamic thruster! Great idea, Professor! Wait! Isn't that the thing that sent Megatron transwarping randomly around the galaxy? Well, yeah, but I think I can reprogram it for a shorter distance. I hope you know what you're doing. Let go!
It's over. Not quite. We still have a Decepticon to haul away. A big Decepticon. Looks like someone beat us to it. Wherever Lugnut is now, he's out of scanning range. You promised me you will uh, never speak of this to Megatron. Oh, I promise. No, you ask him. I'm not asking. Hey, Chris, you ask him. Uh, Mr. Starscream? Yes, yes. What is it? Uh, me and the guys were just wondering if we could, uh, get a, a puppy. <laughs> How about a gerbil? Haboo! 